Shiro Nagada, I come to you today to provide an update on COVID-19 and its impact on the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. As you may already know, there has been a recent increase in COVID activity in our community. And while we are still working to identify connection between many of these cases, we want to bring awareness to the fact that we are at an increased risk of seeing widespread community transmission at this time. This is the result of individuals who are unaware that they are infected with the virus, spreading it within our community. Due to the recent increase of COVID activity in Cherokee, it is important to remember to both protect yourself, protect your family, and to help protect our community. We all share in the responsibility to keep our community safe by keeping our positive cases low. I believe in the strength and resiliency of our tribe and that we can get through this together by being respectful of others, wearing our masks, washing our hands, waiting six feet apart. These measures not only help to keep you safe, they help to keep everyone about you safe. We would like to ask caregivers or members of a vulnerable population to be especially cautious at this time. Community members that are considered vulnerable, that is more at risk for getting COVID and having serious illness if they get COVID are, number one, those with underlying medical conditions such as diabetes, obesity, chronic lung disease or moderate to severe asthma, serious heart conditions, chronic kidney disease, undergoing dialysis, liver disease, and the immunocompromised. Two, the elderly, those over age 65, and three, community members who may be struggling with or recovering from addiction. At this time, I would like to invite Casey Cooper to provide additional information regarding what we mean by community spread and how we can protect ourselves and our loved ones. Casey. Thank you, Chief. When we talk about community spread, essentially and simply put, it means that we no longer know the original source of the virus in our local community. Each time we report on a positive case in the community, we get flooded with questions. Community members wanna know, is it in my community? Is it in my family? Is it in my workplace? Community members wanna know if they're safe. And unfortunately, now that we have community spread, we can no longer trace the virus back to specific original cases. So for that reason, we wanna recommend that everyone assume that everyone around you, including yourself, has the virus. And also assume that the virus is on hard surfaces and high touch areas all around you. And for this reason, I want to reemphasize something the chief said, and that is wear your mask, comply with social distancing, wash your hands, provide six feet of space between you and others, do all of these things, and in addition to that, get tested. If you've already been tested, and it's been 14 days, get tested again. We're very blessed in this community in that we have an abundance of testing availability. So call the COVID hotline and schedule a time to be tested and be safe. Chief? Thank you, Casey. Again, I wanna remind you that it's important to continue wearing your masks, social distancing, sanitizing, or washing your hands, and abiding by CDC recommendations. Remember, by continuing to pra practice good hygiene, mask wearing and social distancing, you can help protect not only you and your family, but our entire community. If you have any questions or you would like to schedule an appointment for COVID testing, please call the CIHA COVID hotline at 828-497-3743. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians.